Iona College's mission statement includes the statement, Iona College's purpose is to foster intellectual inquiry, community engagement, and appreciation for diversity. What is community engagement, and are you doing that? Iona is what you make it, anyone can tell you that. But what are you going to make it? Are you going to make it a waste of time just laying around getting by? Or are you going to make a difference, or as they say, move the world? I, uh, hello, I'm Gabriella Archbold, and I am very involved through the Office of Mission and Ministry. As I've mentioned in class, I just came back from the mission trip to Chicago, and next year I am co-leading the mission trip to Tennessee. I'm actually the only sophomore leader. I'm not just involved overseas, all over the country and on these trips, but there's stuff you can do in just this community, and I do that every day um, uh, through local service projects. We go to this school, we're lucky. Um, it's important to step out of our little bubble of what we know it and see others and how they live. We may help them, but definitely we will help ourselves. There's no reason um, that we are sometimes low on volunteers in this school. Everyone should volunteer at least once a month. According to the Corporation for National Community Service, in percent of people, um, percent of people who volunteer in the 50 states and Washington DC, New York is listed as the 50th place. That is, means we have the 50th lowest percent of volunteers. First of all, availability. And I get that. People always think they're too busy. Every day of the week, though, there is some way to be involved. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, there's a success center in a men's hall from 4 to 5.30 where volunteers tutor kindergartners through eighth graders. Um, there's the soup kitchen on Wednesday and elderly outreach on Wednesday, and soup kitchen is first, and then elderly outreach. Soup kitchen, you um, talk to these people, you serve them, they just you might be their only conversation of the day. And then elderly outreach, we play bingo with the people at the local, um, the local um, retirement home. Uh, midnight runs leave on at 8:30 on Thursdays, and that you go into the city and give homeless people food and clothes and anything they need. And Saturday mornings into the afternoon is St. Bernard's Project, and then Saturday afternoon is Project Sunshine. St. Bernard's Project is rebuilding houses that were destroyed in Hurricane Sandy, and Project Sunshine is playing with young kids in the hospital. Um, and even if you're busy for all of those, the, all of those times, you have practice, you're involved with clubs, there are special events. Um, and these are held all throughout the year, and there are different big things. This past week was Heritage Week, and the Office of Mission and Ministry held the Ability Games um, in the end zone, where people played games with um, people with learning uh, disabilities and um, earlier on in the year there was Martin Luther King Day uh, Martin Luther King Day of Service where uh, volunteers helped through um, Habitat for Humanity and we dismantled basically a mansion and these people were cr uh, demolishing the house and then building an even bigger one but they figured anything that was salvageable um, Habitat could take and then sell um, to make money for themselves and that was a lot of fun and um, then in the beginning of the year there was the 75th annual day of service and every year that's they have that it's annual and um, that there were different service projects all over Westchester and um, and if anyone could be involved and hundreds of people came and that was really cool to see everyone come out um, but more people come to these events the more successful they are not enough people are stepping up to the plate. Sure, in the beginning of the year, everyone was eager, but as more people get involved, they distance themselves from getting as involved. Look at the picture I'm holding up of Martin Luther King Day of Service. Um, <laughs> there's only 19 of us helping, and we got through about one half or three fourths of the house. Um, if we had more people who came to volunteer, we could have gotten through the whole house and gotten everything that could have been sold for Habitat and it would have gone quicker and been easier and we wouldn't have had like two people holding this heavy heavy shelf when there would have been more people and it would have just been quicker and easier. Um, there are days the Abraham House has to be cancelled because not enough people um, sign up to volunteer. Um, 
uh, there are days where each tutor has like six or seven kids because not enough people came to help at the success center and things like that ho happen all the time. Um, we are lucky. Um, we can just grab some Starbucks, lay in our beds, and watch Netflix when we're stressed. But the people that we're helping are marginalized and they can't. Helping out um, helps us realize how lucky we really are. Um, a slice of pizza is whatever to you and to me. Um, you can get a slice at one of the many places on our off-campus meal plan. You could go to La Penta if that's what you want. You can have it delivered, whatever you want. But when you go to the soup kitchen and give someone a slice of pizza, that is the first hot meal they've had all week and could have been the only meal they have in the day. And that just really makes you think about things. Um, you can read all you want about homelessness um, and homeless people, but you don't really understand it so you compare a face with it. And when you go to the soup kitchen, you really hear someone and you can even relate to them. Someone you thought you could never relate to. They're homeless, but there's something in everyone you can relate to. And just having a face to pair with that makes, it, makes you a lot more connected to it. Um, imagine how um, much help it would be if everyone at Iona volunteered at least once a month. Volunteering with a service project isn't a crazy commitment. It's not a club. It's very easy. You can volunteer once a week, once a month, um, every day a week. It's whatever you make it. Um, it's not a big commitment. You can do it uh, once if you like it, and then if you don't like that one, you never have to do it again and try something else. There are so many to pick from. Um, you don't even have to go every month if you're busy, or you can go even more. It's all up to you. There are 10 service projects and 10 months of the year. So you could do something different every single month of the school year, 10 months of the school year. Getting started is so easy and you it's already at the tips of your fingers. Every week you get the email this week at Iona um, and the service projects are all listed. And all you have to do is email the campus minister listed at the bottom of that section and just tell them you're interested, ask them any questions. According to the la La on, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, in 2015, 38.8% of college graduates with a bachelor's degree and higher volunteered. Let's be above that average. That's only 4 out of every 10 people. Let's make it higher. Let's be the difference. I hope you see the difference you can make in just helping out once a month. Imagine if everyone was volunteering once a month. Um, with more than 3,000 undergrads at Iona, imagine all we can do. Every kid at the Boys and Girls Club would have someone to play with. Every one of the kids at the Abraham House uh, would, and Success Center would have a tutor of their own. Senior citizens at Elderly Outreach would have their own bingo buddy. And each person at the soup kitchen would have someone to talk to and the list goes on and on. There are more than enough ways that anyone at Iona could be involved in the surrounding community. Um, Iona is doing so good in the community, the Westchester community, Iona community, and the world, com the global community. Um, will you be a part of the change? I'll leave you with this. When I was in Chicago, we met with um, an uh, Iona alumni named Max Gaston, and he told us, you can't make a 180 degree change in the world by yourself. It's impossible. What you can do is make a two degree change another two degree change and keep making two degree changes and other people will join in and eventually that 180 degree change will happen. Thank you, I'm Gabriella Archbold and I can't wait to move the world with you.